And now, your first alert weather. So tonight we're still stuck with gusty winds, scattered snow showers. This is going to be with us overnight into the early morning hours of your Saturday. This is a live look in Idaho Falls where the snow is coming back through and we're picking up on those gusty winds here for tonight and overnight into early Saturday and it is beginning to uh, get pretty sketchy on some of the roadways. I mean, we've had a lot of the uh, roads closed today. And we've had more snow getting picked up in that wind, the blowing and drifting snow. And of course, we are getting some new snow, but the biggest thing with this storm, it's the wind. That's the biggest nuisance here to blowing in that wind, uh, that snow sideways. Uh, but we're getting some good snow in Jackson right now. Look at that snow. Uh, you can barely even see the roadway surface there here at 89 and 22, the stoplight there in town. And then also uh, in around getting in and out of Teton County, Idaho, which is nearly impossible tonight because we have several highways that are closed. We have snow that's rotating back in here coming closer to Pocatello and Blackfoot. So right now the band of snow is actually rotating in here to the southeast. It's swinging through Blackfoot and it's going to be getting back into Pocatello here shortly. And so we have snow showers stretching from Island Park, working into the Highway 20 corridor down I-15 through Bingham and getting now back into Bannock County. And the snow is now slowly rotating to the southeast, heading back towards Pocatello tonight along with those gusty winds. And it was crazy early in Pocatello when that wind was coming in sight with the snow was coming in sideways with the 40 mile an hour gusts. Uh, we can see the sideways snow also here in Ryrie. This highway remains closed tonight. Highway 26 uh, from the gas station there at Ryrie all the way back to Rainy Creek store. So if you know where that Sinclair station is at the Ryrie cutoff, yeah, that's where the road is closed and they won't let you go down the road. And then we have Highway 33 still closed tonight in the Upper Valley. Highway 32 still closed with blowing and drifting snow. And again, it's not just the new snow. It's the snow that's already fallen. And the system continues to wind its way across the region here for tonight, but it should be gone by midday and afternoon hours here for your Saturday. The winter weather storm warnings expire tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. just to kind of give you an indication of when things start winding down. This system is making its way into Utah and western Wyoming tonight, but we have cold air coming down from the north, keeping our temperatures below average for your Saturday and Sunday. Highs are only going to be into the teens and 20s tomorrow afternoon. Here's a look at the Viper cast as I put this into motion. You'll notice that the snow again pushing mostly into the mountains after it leaves the Snake River Plain later tonight and then tomorrow morning we'll have areas of snow showers stretched out through southeastern Idaho, western Wyoming, even still looking at some passing snow showers in Custer and Lemhi County for central Idaho. So tomorrow morning there's still some snow there, but watch how quickly this stuff dries up and we're looking at just a few pockets of light snow by midday tomorrow. Winds will also start to relax here. We're going to pull in partly sunny skies by Saturday afternoon. Sunday is looking quiet and cold outside with just a few passing clouds. Wind speeds tonight still well into the teens and 20s overnight. And then once we get past tomorrow morning, watch how quickly those winds simmer back down to a nicer 5 to 10 mile per hour wind speed. We still have a few little gusts out there, but the winds on the whole will start to calm back down. We got highs at 29 for McCammon tomorrow, 24 for Soda Springs and 29 in Preston. You'll notice that most folks not even getting to the freezing mark tomorrow with highs. We're stuck into the 20s for a high of 27 in Jackson, 25 in Island Park tomorrow and 26 in Rexburg. Central Idaho, upper 20s in Chalice. We should be into the lower 30s in Arco, but yeah, that's more of the exception than the rule with highs here into the upper 20s for Idaho Falls. We'll be at 24 for the site, 29 in Blackfoot and just barely below freezing there in Pocatello at 31. We should be right at freezing in American Falls with the high of 30 too, but the wind will still be with us in the morning. Calmer conditions in the afternoon. Temperature staying chilly for the weekend. Overnight lows around 8 going into Sunday morning with a high of 26 for Idaho Falls to close out the weekend. As we head into the approaching work week, high pressure starts building back in, which is a nice little change, and temperatures will get into 30s and 40s. But don't be fooled. This is fool spring. OK, we're not going to be looking at a big change up in the weather pattern and sticking around uh, permanently. We still have a lot of winter to go here. Highs around 31 for tomorrow for Pocatello, 31 on Sunday. We'll have highs in the 40s and 50s by late next week. Blackfoot here, we've got 29 degrees with some spotty snow showers tonight and tomorrow morning. High of 30 on Sunday and then we're into the 40s by the later half of the work week. Rexburg, 26 for the high tomorrow with a high of 24 on Sunday. 30s and 40s to grace us here for next week with partly cloudy conditions. Salmon, chance of snow tonight, chance of snow tomorrow. 
We'll have highs in the upper 30s by Monday. Should get, into the, should get back into the 40s by Tuesday, Wednesday with the 40 and 43 for Tuesday and Wednesday afternoon highs. Jackson, quite a bit of snow tonight and tomorrow morning. The winds will start to relax a bit by the afternoon, but it's going to be cold Saturday afternoon and Sunday afternoon with some very chilly overnight lows. Temperatures warming even in Jackson back above freezing. For a brief little bit, we'll be above freezing even into the higher elevations, but again, don't be fooled by that because we have a lot of winter to go and March can be a pretty snowy month as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that means don't smell too big, Todd. I don't want you to be sad next week. Right. All right. Okay. All right, well, a fourth grader from the other side of the state was at Pebble Creek today. This